This is the Toolbox Elite, which was sent to me for an honest review. It's a left-handed Bluetooth console compatible with both Mac and Windows, and is designed to speed up your creative workflow in editing, color grading, drawing, and animation. I've been using the Toolbox Elite with my personal and freelance projects for a good couple of months, and you'll be seeing a lot more of it in my videos because it has become a regular part of my process. It arrived safely in this little box with all the cables, guides, and two AA batteries already in the device. It has some weight to it, it doesn't feel like they've skimped on any of the materials and is comfortable to use even after several hours of animating. There are white, black and colour options available, but I went with the smoke grey translucent design, which I find very nostalgic for the old handheld Game Boy I had as a kid. The setup was very easy, and it can be used both wired or wireless via Bluetooth. In the Toolbox console, there were plenty of programs already available. I made custom settings for TV Paint and Blender, which are the animation programs I use the most. By hovering over the shortcuts on the right, the diagram on the left will highlight which buttons or dials they apply to. Each button has multiple functions and combos which I've been switching out as I work, getting used to what shortcuts and tools I use the most within each program, and setting them up so they're within a comfortable reach. All the buttons and dials feel very different, so you can click and draw without having to look up from your tablet or PC. Any scrolling wheels or dials can set shortcuts to the movement direction, pressing them in and combining them with other buttons on the Toolbox Elite. The side, top, tall and short buttons also have double tap shortcuts and combinations you can customise how you like. For TV Paint, I've set up my shortcuts to mirror what I had on my keyboard, and it was a surprisingly easy switch. It took only a day or so to build muscle memory and find a new placement for playing the animation, skipping to keyframes and scrubbing through the timeline. As I work on more projects, these might change a little, but it's so easy to remap everything that I'm looking forward to finding more shortcuts to include soon. My toolbox setup for Blender changes quite often as I add new shortcuts or update my add-ons. First, I enabled an add-on to set a single button to open this panel, which made accessing the different modes and tools much easier. This left me a lot of options to set up jumping between keyframes, toggling the erase, brush stabilizer, increasing or decreasing the brush size, and then within edit or object mode using scale, transform, and move tools. One of my favorite bits about the Toolbox Elite is the dials and wheels have haptic feedback, which means they make very satisfying clicks whenever I press or turn them. If you don't like that, you can adjust the speed and strength or turn it off. When you move from one program to another, it will automatically switch your settings, so you can keep your creative flow going. At the top here, you can export, import, and create new presets for any programs you like. On this site, you can download the settings other people have used if you want something instant and already optimized for software like Clip Studio Paint, Photoshop, and Premiere. At the top right, you can enable the general or D-pad HUD to show what you've got assigned and place them anywhere on your screen for easy access. Overall, I've really enjoyed using the Toolbox Elite and it will be staying on my desk and used regularly. It's comfortable to use, looks good, and has saved me time when animating already. I do switch between and test quite a lot of programs for my projects, so having an easy way to adjust or even remember the shortcuts I've assigned is great. If you want to take a look at the Toolbox Elite for yourself or see my process for the animation I made with it, you can click the links in the description and I'll be back with another video real soon. Bye!